Well, instead of exactly instead of exactly talking about silver, I want to talk a little bit about the mentality of the elite. Because most people can't get into their heads at all. Um, it's a narcissistic mentality to the max. Everybody else is an insect, and they only care about themselves. But they act like you're they're your friend. That's the way they play it. All the way, man. And, you know, some of them care. I mean, they're not like they don't give a shit about nothing. But when it comes right down to it, there might be like uh, a business personality and a family and friends personality. Or family personality and a friends personality and a business personality. How about like that? Um, because nobody's not the same. They're not the same in business as they might be if you meet them at a function and you think, oh, they're nice people. No. <laughs> They're competitive sharks to the max. And, uh, you know, they do know they got to spend money to make money. So, I mean, they're not going to, like, basically screw people out of everything because they realize, you know, if you screw people over too much, they don't get what they want out of them, right? So that's part of the deal. But, uh, you know, a lot of times this deal with silver and gold, or people are buying physical gold and silver, they're trying to hoard it against the elite, you know, the plans of the elite, the banksters and stuff. you got to understand their mentality, number one. And uh, they're narcissistic as all hell. Now, I come from, like, the uh, New Jersey area, very close to New York, okay? And I know if you're in New York, you consider, like, any place in New Jersey to be the hillbilly place, you know, but... I don't think that was exactly where it was, but, um, you know, it's anything in New Jersey is small compared to New York City, but I'm just saying is that and when you get up in that area, and you'll notice this in, throughout the country, I'm making big generalizations here, they're more narcissistic and money oriented up there than they are anywhere. You know, in the Midwest, the South, they're a little different, you know, the, the West. You get up in the Northeast, man, it's money <laughs> all the way. But, uh, you know, but as you go up the, well, I don't know if it's up or down, but, you know, it depends on how you look at it. But, but when you go up money-wise, they get a lot more narcissistic. And, you know, they could be into the arts. They could be singers. They could be into all this philanthropy bullshit. It's really, that's what it is. It's more of a, an interest of theirs, a passion, or whatever the hell it is. They might be running, um, you know, humane society for you know, animals or people or or freaking hospitals or anything. You don't know. But, you know, on the inside, when it comes down to the business personality, it's another deal altogether, man. So, you know, um, you know, people need to keep that in mind when they're trying to, like, uh, so composedly fight the elite because these guys are tough. Now, I put a lot of videos out about Vladimir Putin, but I just want people to realize, because I'm not really trying to reach the Russian people. I mean, I got an English station here, man. I don't like, I'm talking mainly to Americans more than anything. And um, I don't want people to go think that that guy is some great alternative to the Western elite. Like he works hand in hand with a man, and he plays the Russians a certain way. It's, you know, so just... 99% of the time, the elite get away with bullshit is because they fool the people. You know, they fool the people with religion or whatever the hell it is. They fool them with investments, you know. Uh, I think that thing, and I, I know Lindsey Williams, I don't really have much freaking respect for. I just saw something that was kind of interesting, and it was posted in uh, early 2008. Uh, Pat Robinson talking about the uh, collapse of... Um, coming up in the financial sector and that oil going to $150 a barrel back and posted on YouTube in um, January 2008. So, I, I found that to be pretty interesting. You know, I know LW said he had secret information and stuff, but who the hell knows? Maybe he got it from Pastor, from uh, Pat Robinson because he actually said that before LW did. It's right on YouTube. I'll post the link below. You know? But basic principles can't be ignored. Uh, Syria's, you know, we know what's going on in Syria. They're gonna, they're gonna bomb the hell out of the place or something, you know. And Obama's not gonna get in trouble. Maybe, possibly, but as far as you know, the actual apparatus that's controlling the policy, they, nothing's gonna be touched on them. Nothing at all. So, do expect oil to go way the hell up. 
gold's going to go up, food's going to go up. The whole crap that Lindsey Williams talked about, which is not really a major prediction in my book, um, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Not that he's predicting it so much. It's common sense. But, um, you know, the one problem is you're either going to sell too early or too late. <laughs> and uh, that's the biggest thing on my mind, too. Not right now, because it's still too low, but let me put it this way. I don't even know if to 26 is going to be such a major resistance point as I thought, but I don't know. You know, because if the actual um, collapse or whatever adjustment period of the uh, financial system, like the uh, equities, occurs around the time of the budget fights and the budget ceilings and all this stuff that they're talking about, because they just can't keep raging budget ceilings forever. They've been talking about it for years and years and years. But we already got the warning shots from the S&P when they downgraded the double A. They're downgrading everybody across the world, right? They're doing it. You know, Moody's was talking about it, but they ain't been talking about it. But as soon as they talk about it, everybody's going to jump out of, well, not everybody. There's going to be a tendency to jump out of equities and into gold. So you'll see silver move up and that, that type of stuff. So you might see the markets correct and silver and gold go up, actually. So maybe 26 won't be a resistance point. Like I said, I ain't trying to sell and freaking guess because it's just too damn low. Um, my major concern is I'm going to sell too low because eventually I think silver is going to go well past that 100. It might take a few years. And we might have some serious fake outs before it gets there. Like uh, it might be 72 to 75 next year and pull all the way back below 50. Go all the way back to 40. That's, this is silver, man. You know, silver's been noted for doing this shit forever. They don't call it the devil's metal for nothing. That's why, you know, when it starts getting above 50, I am going to start selling a little bit at a time. But I am not selling all of it till. well, I don't know if I'll sell all of it anyway. But I'm not going to sell more, like a appreciable amount, until um, I figure it's well over three digits. And I'm looking at the gold, you know, the gold to silver ratio. That's going to be telling me the time to sell. But uh, do beware, do we have a narcissistic mentality, you know? And, you know, you can even say this about the religious, because, you know, there's people that talk religious and Bible, but they almost have a narcissistic mentality, too, in a different way, because they're not really about what the real person, you know, whoever it was, Jesus at the beginning, you know, Jesus was about, you know, straightening the garbage out, you know what I mean? <laughs> Being truthful and righteous in the face of uh, adversity. So, um, you know, a lot of times you rule some of these religious too are about as bad as the narcissistic because all they do is pull out freaking bullshit out of the Bible, you know? Which, to me, doesn't mean a damn thing, right? But um, this deal, like I've been talking about for the last, I don't know, umpteen months, about whenever the hell something's going to happen in the Middle East is going to help out the metals prices and it looks like that's what's going on but this could be a number of fake outs because it's almost like the situation in Syria is going to get more and more tense and it's going to be Egypt and then it's going to back off and there's going to be a pullback at something right and then you know the next thing but eventually you know it's in the cards it's in the works they're going to go for Iran and I'm going to tell you this, it's an elite, I'll, I'll call them the Illuminati plan. It, there are some extreme Zionists in on that, but it basically is not their plan. It's not even a Zionist plan. It's my personal belief that there's something else behind this shit going after Iran, and they're looking to set up Israel and destroy Israel too. I'm telling you, man, that's what I see. And I know, and on YouTube, they got a lot of people that are always into the Jews are behind everything, the Rothschilds and everything. Uh, you know, there's some, like, extreme Zionists and there's some, like, you know, Rothschilds and stuff, right? But I think the real power in this world that's actually on the top, that's really pulling the strings, that's going to lead to lots and lots of problems, is going to try to pin it on the Jews. Just remember that shit, because I want to leave you with that thought, because you know a lot of people don't read me right on this shit. 
I think there's something else going on here. I think there's something else going on here. You know? So, you know, I, I think they're not seeing the full conspiracy. So there is a conspiracy for global domination. But I also see, I think they're trying to pin it on somebody more than any, anything else. So, uh, and uh, it's going to be a tough thing later to try to sell silver if it's really high. Because, you know, what I keep saying is, if it's that high, they're going to tax the crap out of it and control the actual points where you go to exchange it for the type of money you use to exchange goods and services in the United States. In other words, there's going to be more rules and more regulations regarding bullion when you go to sell it. That's going to be tough, believe me. So, so that's going to make it much more illiquid acid in a lot of ways. So, uh, But, you know, it's still the best choice right now because, uh, you know, they're going to actually, I think, they're going to pull the rug out from underneath people who have money in electronic accounts for the most part, um, eventually. And the ones that are going to get a hit is like the, I'll call them the middle class, but, you know, it's like the guys with, couple million dollars a few million dollars ten million dollars they're not the they're not the top people even somebody with 30 or 40 million dollars they are not the top people they are not they're gonna get targeted those are the people that we like a couple million dollars a million dollars ten million twenty million dollars they're the ones that are actually providing the fuel and the capital and you know they're the entrepreneurs that keep the economy going and actually help hire a lot of the people out there, more so than the government would ever do. They're the ones that are probably going to get chopped off on the knees. So I want people to also realize that the elite are not the 1%. They're more like the one basis point. They're like a 100th of 1%. And you're never going to meet them too much in person. You're not going to know who the hell they are. So when shit falls apart, uh, I would urge people not to be too resentful of somebody who's got a couple million dollars because, you know, they're going to, you know, <laughs> those are the people who are probably going to help you more than anything. They're going to be in, they're going to be getting chopped up just as bad as anybody else, but relatively speaking, it's going to look nice, you know. So just uh, put it to you that way. But do expect a hell of a lot more turmoil coming up in these markets. Um, I think that stuff with Goldman with their problems with the software and the S&P flatlining for a few hours, those are tests. I, I, I smell something, Bulls. I'm just saying it, you know. That's what I smell. And you know what? I'm going to have to say what I think from a gut reaction and what I smell from a gut reaction because that always seems to work better for me. I'm serious. It seems to work better for me. That's one of the reasons I usually used to get around people that had a lot of money because uh, I protected their ass in a lot of different ways, you know. So I, I just think you're smart with holding the gold and silver, and it is going to go a lot higher. But it's going to have this major peak and then a major correction before it has the real major peak. That's what I think. It's got, a, it's got more than a few years. It's probably got, I think, the 2017 is my estimate when it really peaks out. 